What's going on, Nakamas? It's your boy Mosey here, back with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have episode 752 of One Piece. But before I get into today's episode, this is a reminder that if you guys ever want early access to uncut reactions, I do offer a Patreon for a dollar a month. Or if you just want early access to the YouTube videos, I also offer YouTube memberships for 99 cents a month. And with that being said, let's go ahead and roll right into today's episodes. But before we do, this is a reminder that this is not a market subject to. You should always support the official release. I want Mosey to catch up to see all the awesome stuff, but I don't want but I don't want him to right now at the same time because even better stuff is about to get animated, so he would have to wait if he gets caught up now. It pisses me off that I can't call cap on that shit. Like <laughs> I I want to call cap on it. Like, yo, y'all are over exaggerating shit, bro. Like, it's not that deep. It's not that. I understand it's good, but it's not that good. Calm the fuck down. But time and time again, I can't keep get proven wrong. Like, if people were talking this much, like, dude, just wait till you see Naruto, man. Just wait till you get to the Great War. And then I saw the Great War. I've been like, okay, so you guys fucking oversold that that wasn't as hype as you guys made it seem but every time you guys hype me up and then i see the hypeness it's always hype i'm never like oh well it could have been better so when you tell me that the animation or even better stuff is about to get animated i'm just like how is that possible doesn't make it doesn't compute to me it's peak right now <laughs> That doesn't, again, doesn't compute because I thought Dress Rosa was peak. I thought Marine Ford was peak. The peak just keeps getting higher and higher. It's like climbing Mount Everest, getting to the peak, and then being like, huh, we forgot to tell you, it actually grew on the time you were climbing up of it. It's actually higher now. And you're like, it doesn't. And also, I wanted to go back. Shit. What did they say his name was? Weevil? So, like, where did he come from? How is, I, I, he's just a warlord who just came out of nowhere. Just, you're just gonna drop that in. I haven't even seen Buggy as a warlord. How about you show me what Buggy's doing as a warlord before you introduce another warlord who is supposedly the son of Whitebeard? Yeah, this fucking show, man. Yeah, fuck the time skip, man. It's starting to really piss me the fuck off because with this whole two year time skip, they can just introduce anyone at any time hey at two year time well fuck off you want to see buggy as a warlord i just want to see what he's up to as a warlord i want to see how he's handling it nat buggy is that ever since um impel down he's kind of it's been like his like shtick to be like everything he does makes him look like he's a great leader right so like they keep getting inspired by him when he's really not trying to inspire them so i just want to see what happens when he's a warlord in the war and the Navy or world government's like, hey, Dolphy, as a warlord, you have to do something for us. Go over to this island. I want to see how Buggy handles that. The interactions with, like, the civilians and Buggy being like, I'm a warlord. I'm sent by the Navy. You have to listen to me. How that interaction goes. I, I think it will be funny and enjoyable. And I also think the power is going to go to Buggy's head. Like, everybody else that we've seen as warlords, I feel like, earn their spot. Like, Dolphy, don't fuck with him. Mihawk, don't fuck with him. But I hear about Buggy as a warlord, and I'm like, you got a warlord? Okay, what's that like? You're not intimidating, Buggy. Let me see it. Oh, say less. Are there more of you? Like, you had to, you had to have had a mom and a dad, right? That's what she said. What do you eat? Do you eat sea kings? Like, how fast is it? Maybe it's so big. I feel like two steps is. <laughs> Frankie gonna be so happy. Hey, you want to come? Hey, you gave us a tour of your ship. We'll give you a tour of ours. Come on. Oh, 
Dude, you're about to lose your shit once you see the other crew members, man. I can't wait. <laughs> hmm. Did we, though? I don't, I don't think they really showed that. Oh, I totally forgot we got Caesar with us. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hmm. Feels like being home again. Oh shit. Yeah, how do you get on top? How'd they get up there if their ship is below and if the... Oh, can they tie it to the... I was about to ask, if the elephant is moving and the ship is at the bottom, wouldn't the ship not be at the same place as the elephant? But we figured it out. <laughs> it's almost like a... It's almost robotic. Like, is it even a real elephant? How fast does it keep? Does it keep constantly? I know they say constantly moving. Does it like does it take breaks like every thirty seconds or? Okay. <laughs> How'd they get up, though? Your voice does not match your face. Drunken or I feel like your voice should be so much deeper, Dragon. Like a crop. え、そんな。サボ君もルフィ君も。ロビンは元気だったか。なんだか。ルフィ君のことは聞かないんですか?へへへ。He's <laughs> Goku. He don't give a fuck about his kids. もう腹いっぱいだ。ああ、サボ君から聞かされたんですね。はあ。ほら。はい。あいつらの力が必要だ。え、またあの濃い人たちを集めるんですか? <laughs> Hmm. Ah. So you upgrade from your original just four logs to, but still keeping the same aesthetic. Uh. ほぼ<笑> He—he's at the Revolutionary Army head base, right? I'm worried, but not that worried. But worried, like.
If I hadn't known what Blackbeard did to Whitebeard, I wouldn't be that worried, but like, because Dragon's there, but like, yeah. Okay, so you're not really his son. <laughs> I, I, I call bullshit. There's no way. Because I love you. I don't think he's Whitebeard's son, but like the fact that he's still a warlord, it means he has somewhat strength. <laughs> oh, well, I literally was just about to ask him, like, all you have to do is wave down the thing, it'll give you a new thing, you don't have to pay for it. Very interesting character. That's straight disrespectful, Fork. She reminds me of the little guy, Ray's Max, from Film Gold that was in the prison. That's fucked up. You're asking now, shall receive. <gasps> oh, you look dope! <laughs> I'm liking the new hair. Bring back booty. <laughs> the genius gesture. I, I, I fucked with you hard now, Buggy. I, I love you. Don't know how you got so much bigger, but... Well, I'm gonna go back and see Ricky, but wait, the giant hard wants to quit Buggy. I thought he was um, I thought he was part of the revolutionary army. So is he undercover for Buggy? Could have swore the giant hard hard whatever. I'm pretty sure when he was underneath him and Koala had a conversation, or maybe I'm looking for someone else. Oh no, maybe I'm confusing him with Hack. Hack was the one that was part of the revolutionary army. Oh my god, Rick, you got so fat. Mr. Three? I didn't see... I know Mr. Three was there, but I don't think... I didn't see his ball. I don't want Barto to leave, though. Me too! <laughs> <laughs> I 
麦わら参加の名に恥じぬ実力を身につけて惨状つかまつりますゆえ頂戴できますれば地獄公明に存じます<笑>イミズヘビだろ足があるぞトカゲだ完全なるムースパーフェクトスラッシュ !OK, that means how we're getting up. Nami and them all got up. I really like his power. It reminds me so much of、uh, the cartoon Chalk Zone. Wish we would have made it green. Instead of pink like Momo, but still cool. No. <laughs> that that does it for you, really. See, General Frankie. See the radical beam. See this. Oh, it's cute. Bullshit. <laughs> It's gonna have a hard time. The, the dragon drawing had a hard time. I understand it's an anime and they can do what they want, but you guys are really crawling up perpendicular and not holding on. How are you not falling off? I'm so upset. I really want them to see Nami in there. I like that name. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, I swear to God, if we don't see you again and you don't see all of them, I'm gonna riot. I will riot in front of Oda's yard every day so he can never have a day of peace if that does not happen. Luffy Senpai, Oda Shade. Kakushite Ikko wa Maboroshi no Shima. Maybe dragons have suction cups? No, I'm not worried about how the, the dragon climbs up the elephant. That's fine. I want to know how they're riding on the back of the dragon, no hands, and are not falling off the dragon. That's where I'm just like, shouldn't you? Like, Robin's, le Robin's legs aren't even like around the dragon where she could hold on. So she's really just sitting on the dragon and not falling off. Again, I understand. It's an anime, don't question that type of shit, but in my mind, I'm just like, fall off. Just don't crawl into any caves while climbing it, the elephant. There are some places on the elephant you don't want to crawl into. We're crawling up the back side. I know Luffy that as soon as he sees a hole, let's climb in that. Captain, would you trust Oda to handle time travel? I'm assuming there has to be some type of devil fruit with time travel. It would make sense. I just don't know how Oda would do it. If Oda would try to make it 
Because I feel like there would be two different types of devil fruits that could be time travel devil fruits. One is where you could travel back into the past. You know, go back two years in the past if you wanted. That's one aspect. Or two is that you can rewind things. You can go back a couple of seconds and that's time travel. It's like I can go back 30 seconds into the past. That's theoretically time travel, but more of like a rewind power. So I guess it would depend on how Oda would want to play it. But I would trust that if Oda did introduce a time travel, time travel devil fruit, that it's going to be very influential in far as one piece is concerned because like if we're talking about like you can travel back in time and change things that's a very formidable power to have that i can't imagine just some joe schmo having it and you know just on a random island having it we see them we beat them and then they'd be done but like whoever has that power has to be relevant to the story but we'll see all right well that was it for my reaction to episode 752 of one piece and i have an inclination or like i want to assume that like this arc is going to be heavily like chopper focus not chopper focus that doesn't make sense but like chopper is gonna be very relevant in this arc because if they said that it was it the mink tribe or they they hate humans or whatever they said about humans makes it imply that they themselves are not humans. So Chopper is going to reign supreme here because he's going to be the conduit between the Straw Hats and, you know what I mean? Like, he's the middleman who can talk to both groups. So if that's the case, I think I'm really going to fuck with this arc. We'll see. I do appreciate you guys, though, sticking around and watching this reaction. It's been real. It's been good. It's been real good. Later on.